Morning. 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 Mel, welcome to the old Zoom classes. I got here. Finally got out of my bed. <laughs> Good. How are you? You alright? Well. Enjoying lockdown? Oh, magic. Brilliant, eh? Yeah. Morning, Chelsea. Morning, Scotty lad. Morning. Gregory. How are you, mate? Not bad, how are you? Good mate, you look like you lost a power of weight, bud. <laughs> Shading the head last night, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what lost weight off your head? <laughs> <laughs> I've missed a bit though, I've got up your one strand, big curly strand, give us a book. Oh, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Do you do it yourself? I, uh, me and my sister done a joint effort. Yeah, it's a solid yeah. effort, I like. It's a solid effort. I kind of blended it until I couldn't see it and then she done it at the back. Happy it is. So, <laughs> just a good effort, hundred percent. Get yourself a new job. Hello. Morning, Andy. Morning, Barry. Morning. Right, team. So today we'll give people another couple of minutes to come in. I'll say, as always, let's drive us coming. So today's upper body pump sesh. Scotty, that dash is horrendous. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> it's brilliant. Right, it's the uh, old top of, it of uh, Stranger Things, that's what I'm going for. The old shaggy face with a shiny dash. Nice one. Right in the middle of my screen as well. <laughs> right, so today's upper body strength or upper body pump set. Uh, we changed the, fo the format and the movements up a little bit, just so we're not as um, mundane and monotonous every week now. Just because we've got another three, five, six weeks or lockdown, however many weeks it is. So we're still going to stick with the two minutes of work um, being on our different exercises, but then we're going to add in a muscle exhaustion minute of just plain old press-ups. Yeah. So for instance, the flow of the workout will be two minutes of curling press. So if you have one weight, we'll do one arm, swap as and when needed. You will then go straight into one minute of press-up. Yeah. Then we'll have one minute of rest. Then we go to, into two minutes of renegade row. So when we're in our press up position, we're rowing all the way up. Then again, straight into one minute of push ups. Morning, Jenny. Morning. And then one minute of rest after the push ups. And then the last round is two minutes of tricep dips. So, so you guys need a box, a bench, or a sofa. And one minute of press ups. We're pretty heavy on the old triceps and chest today. Triceps. <laughs> but like I say, we're going to section them off by our three different movements, uh, that being a press or a pull, then you guys should be feeling it after, yeah? This is only, what, 11 minutes of work essentially, right? So we're gonna do a pretty extensive warm-up, as far as six warm-up. Then we'll do a bit of, uh, of a chest opener mobility in the top right, you won't be able to see it because it's red. Um, that being Passover, so if you guys have got a towel, that would be sweet, so we'll use the towel as our PVC pipe. Um, some scorpions, I don't think we've done them before, it's when you lie on the floor in like a crucifix, then you bring like your ops or your left heel would go to your Can right. You right. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll feel stretch across your chest and your shoulder. And then we'll do 30 seconds of lat stretch on your box, your bench, or your sofa. So your elbow goes, goes on it. You then drive your elbows here, get a stretch through your lats. But we'll go through it all as a win. So what we'll do is we'll get warm first, then we'll do the mobility, um, and then we'll get the, the workout done and dusted. Good. So we'll give guys another minute, it's 10.03, we'll let the strides go. Sam, dumbbell or kettlebell? What, what kind of equipment will we need? You'll need a dumbbell or a kettlebell for your cleaning press and your renegade rows. And you need a box, bench or a sofa for your tricep dips. That is it. So the only thing I've got is a, dump, a kettlebell, but it's like 12k. Perfect. Will I manage that for what I'm doing? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one thing that we do is if it's single arm stuff and you only have, for instance, you had you picked up a 22 and a half kilo kettlebell because you just got <laughs> We'll give you an option for like a, a double arm cleaning press or something like that. Oh, so okay. You can, so you can lighten the weight essentially. Okay. Yeah. But you'll be fine. Don't worry. I, I need a towel as well. I'll go grab a towel. You guys need a towel. So the towel is just for pure mobility. If you have a PVC pipe or a broomstick or even um, resistance bands, we can use this. Oh, wow. I have resistance bands. I've got one of them. Yeah, resistance bands. You'll be golden for that. Yeah, that's some towel. 
<laughs> it's actually a blanket. That's okay, I'm eh? <laughs> Gotta keep your feet warm at night. <laughs> like your comfort blanket, eh? Yeah. <laughs> My thunder buddy. Yeah. How are you, Sarah? Quite in the corner up there. <laughs> <laughs> You on call today or no? No, perfect. You'll, you'll be fine today. Get the full workout today. I know. It always happens though. I'm on call like once every six days and someone always calls at like 10 or 12. That's great. <laughs> Can't do anything. Piss off. Yeah. What's the tooth emergency happens at 10 or 12? Or like Honestly, a... <laughs> no one calls at 9 o'clock. No one calls at 9 o'clock. <laughs> they call at like 10 between 10 and 11 and then they tend to call between like two and three it's really weird we have like massive runs between about three and five three and five is when everybody gets sick just everybody yeah it's oh. when you've gone most of the day and you're like oh i'm probably okay three o'clock no i'm not okay <laughs> yeah, for sure that's probably what people is like do think they've had it all night or whatever then they're like oh, i'll take another couple of paracetamols or whatnot i'll see how it is in a couple of hours yeah. Nah. They're usually, they're usually it seems after, after breakfast, after lunch. Yeah. After breakfast and after lunch. I thought I ate something in agony. The main meals. Yeah. That's it. So, try to eat a well done steak and lost a filling. Yeah. They usually like they're up all night. And they fall asleep at like t nine o'clock in the morning and then they must wake up. And I'm like, well, it's not much I can do. So. Sure. <laughs> The other day, I was telling someone Ruby wouldn't stop barking, and I was like, Ruby, shut up! <laughs> like, Have you taken your dog to the practice? And I was like, no. Oh. Yeah, no, match it at home, thank you very much. Ruby, shut up! Yeah. <laughs> We've actually heard her say, say or do anything. She just always just sits there looking at you. I know. She's... Canny dog. Oh, shut up. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, nice Craig and Sarah have foster the dog for during lockdown. Oh, Melanie, you love her. I don't know if you can see her. Oh my God. Or potentially. <laughs> should, no. She can't, you can't just foster her. You have to keep her now. No, that's the thing. So I took, Craig and I totally love her. And um, <laughs> <laughs> the woman messaged me the other day, like, oh, we think she'd be a really good companion for an old person. I was like, what? 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 My dog? Yeah. <laughs> Really? You have to report back. Just say, um, I'm going to do an assessment on her, and I just don't think that you're correct. But you don't know it like I do. We walk for like three hours a day, and she chases the ball the whole time. I'm like, what old person could deal with this? You should go yeah. for a walk with Scotty and Bear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just I tell you what. Look at my, my, my yeah. fighting, fighting his bloody forearm. Sarah, my elderly neighbours could definitely deal with it because they are out about five times a day contravening all of the social distancing. <laughs> yeah. All the old people love a chat. Right, guys, 10 06, let's get this show on the road. Right, so as I say, we're going to do a warm up first, then we're going to do a little bit of mobility, and then we're going to hit this 11 minute arm burner. Your arms will fall off by the end of it, but you'll be fine. Okay, so six minutes on the clock. Get my angles right. Okay, so we're going to go eight toe taps to start. Yeah, eight toe taps to start. So feet under your hips. Relax down, get a stretch through your hamstrings into the lower back. Don't worry about keeping your back nice and flat. You can round that spine if need be. Then we're going to go into four push ups. So for the first round, stay on our knees, abs tight. Chest to the floor. Then we go into our full push ups as always. Then we're going to go into four bent over row on each arm. So, with our bent over row, a staggered stance, soft bend in both knees. You can use your opposite arm as a platform. So, use it as a balance and act. From here, drive your elbow back, hand to pocket. Four reps on each one. Then you're going to go into four shoulder to overhead on each arm. So pop your weight to your shoulder. If your weight's light enough, we can strict press. Try and keep your abs tight while we squeeze the big bicep to here. If your weight's a little bit heavier, feel free to do a push press. Hit and drive. 
Yeah. Or if you have a resistance band that's light enough, stand on it, then press up. Yeah, if that's going to be less resistance than your weight. Once we've done that, we're then going to go into our mobility. So I'll get, let you guys get warm first, then we'll talk over your mobility. It's only three exercises, and then we'll go through, through the movements of the workout. Yeah? Sweet team. So I'll keep you guys right as far as what's next. We'll start us off with eight toe taps, then into four push-ups. <coughs> okay, guys, 10 seconds, and it's go time. So eight toe taps, four push-ups, then we'll worry about the rest. When you're ready, let's go. Just take your own pace. Just get a nice stretch through the hamstrings and lower back in these toe taps. Job. Four press ups. Good. Then into four bent over row on each arm. So that lunge stand, soft knee. If you want to use a sofa or a box, you can. Good. Really focus on keeping that elbow in tight. Once you're done your four and four on each side, you're then into four shoulder to overhead on each arm. Happy days. One minute gone. So pretty extensive warm-up today, but it's needed. <clears throat> Good job. Once you're done our four on each side, back into your toe taps. Andy's getting fancy and doing bottom up. Good work, team. Two and a half minutes gone. Three and a half minutes gone. So making sure we're keeping control with the dumbbell or kettlebell through the bent over row 
and your shoulder to overhead. Good job, team. Last minute. <laughs> Thirty seconds, guys. Good job, team. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Good job. Nice work, guys. Okay, okay. So now we're going to go through a little bit of mobility. So you need your towel for this one. So it's going to be three rounds of eight passovers. So all the way over, all the way back as one. I'll show you guys in a sec. Six scorpions, so three on each side. And then a 20-second 20, 20 lap stretch, so lap hold, right? So if you have poor front lap mobility, this will be a good one for you. So for passovers, towel nice and long, roll up. From here like a PVC pipe, we're going all the way over. Nice straight arms, get that stretch to the front of your chest. If when you hold your towel on the very end, it's a little bit too easy, bring your hand in a little bit, then go again. Yeah, try and keep your abs tight. What we don't want to see is open up your chest. Yeah, keep your abs tight, then you'll feel more of that stretch through your, through your pec. Yeah, so you'll do eight of them, then we're doing six scorpions. So lie on the floor, crucifix, arms out. From here, I'm going to go left heel as close to the right hand as possible. Yeah, so feel that through my chest. Yeah, so you guys are going to do six of them, so three on each side. So the closer you can get your, your heel to your hand, obviously the more intense the stretch is, because the more you open up that chest. Then, Grab your box, we're going to put both elbows on it, and here, clasp your hands, keep your abs tight, rib cage down. You're going to feel that stretch in your lap. Yeah, so that one you feel a stretch through there. Obviously, the further you go back with your knees, the more you can get your chest through, the more intense the stretch. Yeah? Sweet team. So three rounds. I'll give you guys a 20 second count for your lat stretch. Any questions? No, something. <laughs> okay team, when you're ready, eight passovers to start. Is it 20 or 30 seconds for the lat stretch? Because it says 30. 30 seconds. You're correct. 30 seconds. I'll keep you right on the 30 seconds, Vic. <laughs> yeah, so eight passovers. Then into six scorpion, so three on each side. <clears throat> Good, so you may feel a stretch of your lower back as well, but try and get it through your chest and your front delt if possible. Go ahead, Jenny. I sorry, find a poo. Did he do a job? <laughs> <laughs> so, That's right. right. So passovers. Eight passovers. Right. Then into six scorpions, which yeah. is the crucifix on the ground. And you try right, yeah. left heel to right hand. Yeah, so you feel a stretch of that. Lat. Okay, team. Then when you guys go into your lat stretch, it's 30 seconds, not 20 seconds. Yeah. So elbows on your sofa or your bench, in nice and tight. Then try and get your head between them. 
Drive that chest to the floor. 30 seconds, you guys are good. Scotty, that's 15 seconds, bud. You can count yours. Good. So, Sarah, if you feel that in your lower back and not your lats, try and tuck your pelvis under and squeeze your abs. There you go. Nice one. Nice work, teams, with 30 seconds. Good. So your head shouldn't be on the bench or the box. It should be hanging off the edge. It should just be your elbows on it. Good job, team. And once you're in 30 seconds, back into that pass over. Wait, what am I doing on that stretch? What's in yeah, that? Show that. So, elbows on your box or your chair. Clasp your hands. Walk yourself out. Head through. Abs tight. Right. And you'll feel that right down the side of your arm. Right down the side of your back. You guys have probably never done this, this much mobility in warm-up ever prior to doing a wad. <clears throat> Good job, team. So taking your time. With the passovers, try and go a little bit narrower each round if you can. Just intensify that stretch a little bit more. My dog has never hugged anything in his life and just trying to hug me a scorpion thing. Is he? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Good job, team. Then back into your 30 seconds lat stretch. So elbows on. Drive that chest to the floor, abs tight. Nice melt. Scotty, try and get your elbows in tight, alright? So Vic, you want to have your hands straight because you want to feel this as much as you can through your bicep and your chest, yeah. Perfect. Good job, guys. <clears throat> Good. So I think you're all starting your third round now, which is spot on. I swear, team, keep them arms straight as possible. Good job, guys. So once you finish your three rounds of ability, relax, grab a breather, get a drink. Thanks for team. Good job, just for the last couple of people finishing off the stretch.
Nice right, work, guys. Half it is. Okay, so let's go through the movements for the actual workout itself. So push-ups, we've covered them in the in the warm-up, so we can go full or on your knees. If you feel like a minute of full push-ups is obviously going to be way too long for you, you'll probably bash out like three or four full push-ups before you need to go to your knees. Do that, yeah? So always start do a set of full push-ups so you get that progression, that stimulus, and then you can finish that minute off on your knees, yeah? As opposed to just starting on your knees. Yeah, so let's try and push the body a little bit today. So we're gonna go two minutes of curl and press. So with a curl and press, it's exactly what it says. So you'll pick up your weight, absolutely tight, squeezing your bum from here, up to the shoulder, then up above your head. Yeah, so totally up to you. If you wanna have your dumbbell here, so it's more of a bicep, then a press, or if you hold it like a hammer, so a hammer curl we call this, then a press, you'll also hit your forearms a little bit more. Yeah, so for me, I would always go a hammer press. It's a little bit more fluent as well. So you'll do two minutes of that. If you only have one dumbbell, obviously do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Just change as and when you guys see fit. If your weight is too heavy for a single arm and you only have one weight, hold it by each head. Again, arms in tight, you'll curl up. Press above head, back down. Yeah? So if you only have one weight and it's quite heavy for your single arm, hold it at that, it'll be fine. If you've got a kettlebell and you're holding it, hold it by the horns. Can you see me? It's a bit dark there. Yeah? Hold it by the horn, up, and press above. Yeah? So that's our curl and press. Two minutes of that, then one minute of press ups, then one minute of rest. Then we go two minutes of Renegade rows. So with that, our dumbbell will be on the floor, press up position, put your feet a little bit wider so it creates like a tripod. Then from this point, you're going hand to pocket, elbow nice and tight. Yeah, try and keep your chest facing the floor. Try not to open up, because then you're not using your core or your back muscle, right? Hips are facing the floor, chest facing the floor, Try with the elbow. So again, if you've got one weight, swap as and when needed. If you've got two, you have luxury two, just go alternate, alternate arms, yeah? Then we go one minute of press-ups again, then one minute of rest. Then our last exercise for the day is tricep dips. So grab your box. Hands, if you can get them under your shoulders, perfect. If not, just widen your shoulder width. Keep your elbows in tight. Bum close to the box. From there, you're driving your elbows back, shoulders in line with your elbows, and back up to full extension. Yeah, so you're hinging at the elbows. You don't want anyone doing this, because then you're not using your triceps. Yeah, keep your bum as close to your box or bench as possible, and drive it up. With that one, if, the further your feet are away from your body, the harder it is. The closer your feet are to your bum, the easier it is. Yeah? Or if you want to elevate your feet to make it even harder, bash on. Once you've done two minutes of tricep dips, you'll finish off with one minute of press-ups. Done. Pretty simple today, right? Good team. Right, so let's take a couple minutes. Let's go through a couple of curl and press, a couple of renegade rows each, and a couple of tricep dips. Save your push-ups, because you'll need them. <coughs> So, thanks Jenny. Good, so Mel, it's not a cleaning press, it's just a curl and press. So from here, up, so it's all upper body. That's it, so break into two movements, good job. So you're curling up first, then you're pausing, then above head. Sam, see for the curl and press, can you use a barbell but then change the grip at the top and stuff? Good luck with that. <laughs> so you're going, to curl, you're going to curl like this. Then press. I don't know. Because no. obviously if you do the hang of the thing, it's not going to no. work. No, no. For this one, I'd use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want to do a reverse curl. Reverse so, curl, I was going to say. Yeah, it's just a muscle clean though, isn't it? 
Now, there he goes. So the muscles quickly slow you use your hips. So you can do a reverse curl from here. Right, okay. Yeah. So that bar's going out the way, then up. Okay, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> but that'll be nails in the forearms for two minutes. <laughs> Yo, forearms like Popeye after that. <laughs> Okay, guys, any questions on our curl and press, renegade row, or tricep dips? All pretty comfortable, all got a variation that we can use. Love it. Okay, team. So it's 11 minutes. Okay, here we go. 10 seconds. Then we're into our curl and press for two minutes. So like I say, if you've only got one dumbbell, you're using one dumbbell, swap as and when you guys see fit. When you're ready, let's go. I'm gonna join in actually. Good job, team. 30 seconds gone. Good job, one minute in. Good job, last 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, three. Two, one, straight into press ups, one minute push ups. Good job, team. 30 seconds. So one minute of rest, guys. Then we're into our renegade rows. Thirty seconds. It's 15 seconds, so remember, let's keep our hips facing the floor, chest facing the floor, only using that elbow to drive up. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, let's go.
Good job, 30 seconds. Good job, team. One minute gone. Forty seconds left, guys. Let's stay at it. In 30 seconds. Good job, five seconds and two shots. Three, two, one, let's go, push ups. Let's go, guys. One minute, then we get a rest. Good, 30 seconds gone. Good job guys, 15 seconds, let's keep going. 10. Last five. Two, one. Good job, and rest. Whew. One minute of rest, then we're into tricep dips. This one's going to be the finisher of the arms. <laughs> So remember, tricep dips, keep your hands inside your shoulders if you can, or line your shoulders, elbows in line, all the way up. Thirty seconds, team. Good job. Fifteen seconds. Okay, here we go. Two minutes of tricep dips in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, team. We got this last two minutes. Good job guys, 45 seconds gone. Do well. Good job, last minute. Oh, these push-ups are going to be fun. 40 seconds left, team. Good 
Good job, guys. 20 seconds. Think deep, you got it. 15. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Let's go, last minute push-ups. One minute push-ups and we're done. Good job, 30 seconds left. Good job, team, 10 seconds, last few reps. Three, two, one. Good job, done. Happy days, good job team. Right, round two is going to start in a minute. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. Good job team. So give yourself a minute, get your breath back. Grab a drink. Whew, man, that was nails. <laughs> Going from tricep dips to push ups, I got like four. <laughs> yeah, I've never, never felt so heavy in my life yeah. going from that tricep dips to press ups. For sure. That was brutal, that triceps and then. Right, the push ups. Oh, oh, it's finished, right? Everyone's the whole rhomboids. Tricep, like, my rhomboids were in agony and they didn't hurt doing the tricep dips, but as yeah. soon as I went forward. Wow. Yeah. And I'm bent their nails like. But that was a good one. Good one for today, so also changed that format, something a little different. So you'll notice this week's been quite short, sharp workouts. So what our plan is now is coming into the, hopefully the last few weeks of lockdown, when we could officially open some sort of um, condensed timetable or outside classes. We're trying to bring in these kind of short, sharp workouts again, so we're starting to build that stimulation of our sprint speed. So therefore, the last few weeks has been kind of long, steady state. Now we're going to, this week will be short, sharp sprints almost, and then we'll start to balance out again as far as like a 21 59, a three rounder of like two movements, that sort of thing, as well as we've got our long. Yeah, so we're coming back into that well rounded CrossFit programming again. Then by the time you guys come in to lift the barbell, you'll be flying, hopefully. <laughs> the barbell will feel heavy, but we'll just do empty barbell workout, it should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, awesome work. So tonight, um, the half six is like a fight gone bad thing, like a five station, one minute rounds. But I think it's a four rounder um, with a minute rest on, on minute five. So you do get a rest period. So if you're in at half six, we'll see you then. If not, we'll see you guys tomorrow at some point, I'm sure. Have a good day, team. Ciao, Remember your sun cream. Thank you. See you later.